Hello friends, this is Jess from Knit Plan Jess. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome back to my channel for the returning viewers and welcome for the new viewers. Um, if you're a new viewer, don't forget to sub hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and click that notification bell and you'll get a notification every time that I post a new video. Today we are doing a budget and cash stuffing video. So I have a previous video um, where I'm setting up my home Franken planner. So it's this right here. And I'm kind of explaining how I'm using my, um, my cash stuffing envelope. I actually kind of changed things up a little bit and I also have this cash stuffing notebook. Um, Plan with Elise was like really the inspiration and she actually treated me to this so that was really nice of her so thank you Elise but she's been like my huge inspiration when it comes to budgeting. So I'm going to kind of show you how I go through my process as somebody who is brand new to budgeting, um, somewhat new to cash to cash, like only using cash, cash saving, cash spending, whatever you want to call it. Um, I started this in 2020. It quickly ended within like a couple months because of the, of COVID and, you know, banks being harder to get to and such. I'm picking it back up for 2022 because while I have no, I, I, I am responsible enough to make sure that my bills are paid, food's on the table, you know, any of the basic needs and necessities, I'm not that great at savings. And while I have a savings that can last me for a few months, if I was to lose my job, I would definitely not be confident that it would last for more than a couple months. And that's my concern. So I want to do better about savings. I want to do better about building up a savings, building up a sinking funds and just making better spending habits. So that's what my budgeting journey for 2022 is gonna look like. So this is gonna show you kind of like my process for cash stuffing, um, you know, kind of how I determine how much money I need to stuff because I get paid twice a month. Um, YouTube, like any money that I get from like my affiliates or from YouTube or from Instagram, that is not taken into consideration for this. Um, that goes will go into like a sinking fund or that goes into my um, my bank savings account but really that's not being taken into consideration when I'm determining how much money that I need to use for my cash stuffing when I do like that is solely based on my regular 40 hour a week income so first of all I stole my son's calculator for this because you, sometimes you gotta have a calculator. Um, before doing this video, I actually took all of the money out of my wallet. So then that way I could make sure that it was completely emptied out. And I even went as far as to take out all of the coins. So I'm just using like this little plastic jar. I think I got this from like Dollar Tree, a couple, maybe I got this in 2020. Um, I'm just using this for holding onto all of my coins. And then what I'm actually doing is before I go out, like, or even maybe at the beginning of the week, I'll take like $2 in coins and just stick it in my wallet. So in that way I have it. And then at the end of the week, I put it in there, redetermine what needs to go into my wallet for just having cash on hand and figure out my coin solution then. So this is gonna go off to the side. We're gonna first go ahead and move the money from my active cash stuffing envelope into my saving cash stuffing envelope. So number one, the way that I'm gonna kind of work. So number one, I'm gonna kind of explain how I have this set up. So I'm saving for um, an East Coast stadium tour. Elise was kind enough to make me a savings tracker for that, so I really love it. I haven't determined how much that I need to save for it, so I haven't filled out um, like what each little baseball is worth, and I haven't figured out what my goal needs to be, but that's gonna kind of be like a plan for this weekend. I am gonna be using this envelope. Let's go ahead and kind of set these up actually as I'm talking. So this envelope is going to house all of my $1 savings. And what I'm gonna do when I move the money into here, 
I'm going to date it and put how much money that I'm putting into here. So in that way, at the end of the year, it'll be really easy to reconcile. This is going to be the $5 savings. So the $1 savings, I basically just randomly put a dollar into the envelope or into my, yeah, my envelope whenever I have, happen to have an extra dollar. The $5 savings, I put a $5 in there every time that I go or every day that I spend money. I don't care if it is spending money on food, on gas. If it's like a random Target trip where I splurge, I'm putting $5 into the envelope each day. Um, I know some people do $5 every trip. $5 every day is a little bit more manageable for me. Then I have $20 savings where I just basically put $20 in the envelope, um, in this envelope every payday. And then at the end of the month, I will move it to this one. And then um, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to leave these ones currently undone because these, um, if I decide that I want to maybe do like a Christmas fund or if I just, you know, just if I need just like a certain savings, I can be able to use it. So I'm not going to label these ones up yet. So right now I only have my trip, my $1, my $5 and my $20. Ooh, actually this is going to be for summer trip. I need to make sure that I'm saving up for a summer trip because we're planning a trip to Colorado. Um, we want to see the Dodgers play the Rockies. So we're going to just spend a couple days in Colorado and it'll be fun. So there we go. These are all set up. Now I'm going to move from this. This money is being put to the side, by the way. I'm going to move from this into here. Okay, so to start out, we're going to move the money from the cash envelope, my active cash envelope into the cash savings envelope. So um, let's just start from the very beginning. What I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to open it up, count out the money and move it into the appropriate envelope. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this will kind of give me a good chance to see like how much that I'm putting in there each month. So then that way, if I want to maybe challenge myself to put in more, then I will. So as of one, one, I have $8. So now the $5, um, I think I, I already put $5 in for today. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And what I really like about this is that the money that I'm, I'm saving up, it's literally money that is out of sight, out of mind. And I, I'm not going to spend it because I'm not thinking about it. Hold on. I want to redo this. One and 25. So already I have $33 that is literally just savings. And a lot of the, a lot of these savings will most likely go to the East coast trip. Okay. So I put in $20 cause I actually started doing this about mid December. So I only have $20 in there, but again, I'm up to $53 in savings that I have no, like I have no intention to spend. All right, now, so my 20 savings. Okay, so car maintenance savings, um, I'm gonna start putting money in there for that. So one other thing that I did in my budget, I have um, to kind of figure out how much money that I'm putting into it. I actually just kind of figured out, like I kind of wrote down, this is how much cash that I need to pull out and this is what it's for. Um, I did actually realize though that I didn't have savings for the car maintenance. So, um, I don't have anything in there right now. Um, but 
next one I will have to make sure I do that so the car registration I have a car registration that is due at the end of or the middle of February so I started just kind of going ahead and throwing cash in there so if I had like maybe $12 left over from grocery my food money I went ahead and threw it in here so my car registration sadly is $245 which is a lot and so far I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixty dollars, sixty-seven dollars. So I do have plans to put so much money into it for like the next couple checks to kind of help boost that up. So that way when February 14 comes around, I'm not spending a lot of money at one time. I have my car gas savings, which I'm gonna start putting in with this time. I didn't put in anything for December. My food savings, I put in so much money. Um, I basically kind of budget out spending um, $100 a week on food for myself and my son. If there's like a special holiday that I might need to spend more, I allow myself that. Okay, so allowance savings. Um, my son actually bought something today for $10, so I'm taking this $10 out of his allowance savings, and that is gonna go into a separate like I could put this into the car maintenance um, or I could put it into like my car registration or I could put it into a sinking fund so I will decide that at the end and then this is basically my sinking fund so I'm gonna take this out and that's gonna go in there I have a planner savings and this will always stay here um, so far I have $60. Hey, I got $60 to, to save up for planner stuff. And then I um, this envelope, I have a gift card that my mom gave me for the yarn store. So this is kind of going to be like my yarn savings, which I have all these extra little savings trackers. So these savings trackers come from Plan with Elise. Um, she made like a, just a really generic savings tracker. And that's what I'm gonna use for my yarn savings. So then this way, um, if I go to the yarn store, I have money to spend and I'm not pulling out you know, money that could go towards something else. But also at the beginning of March, there is gonna be a yarn and fiber convention actually in Sacramento where I live so I will be able to go to that and know that, hey, I already have money saved up for it. All right, so everything has been pulled out of here that needs to be pulled out. Um, like I said, I don't have anything yet for the summer trip for Colorado, but once I go through and I stuff the envelopes and I look at my sinking fund, I will decide how much I wanna put into there. So let's go ahead and do the cash stuffing first. So um, I have, okay, I have a lot more ones than what I originally pulled out. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, some of this money came from my wallet. And then we got 20s. So yeah, so basically first what I like to do is I just kind of like to separate everything out and see what I have of each bill. Um, I do ask for a specific amount when I, when I went to the bank. I also made the mistake of asking for ones when I probably shouldn't have, but at least this way I will have ones on me so I can be able just to kind of randomly put ones into the envelope you don't really realize how quickly that stuff like that adds up. All right, I'm also gonna go ahead and just take the money that was pulled out. Um, this is like money from my sinking fund. This was money that I took back from my son from his allowance. But basically I took out $451 um, in order to stuff my envelopes so let's see how I can fix up the space <laughs> all right 
So let's go ahead and start stuffing this. I do have my budget binder off to the side because then that way I can be able to look and see exactly what I designated everything for. So first of all, we're just putting a dollar into the, the $1 savings. That's basically my starting January. And then $5 into the $5 savings, again, starting January. $20 is going into the $20 savings. When you have, what, I, what I've kind of figured out is that when you have money already in there, it kind of inspires you to put more. Okay, so I don't have anything for the car maintenance. Car registration, I planned on doing $50. So that will bring me up to 117, which puts me almost halfway to the mark. So that, that makes me really happy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the car registration savings and I am putting, um, there's 28 little cars on here. So I'm actually going to put that each car is worth $10. And I'm gonna use a different, because the mild liner really smudged it. So let's just kind of go ahead and do like a quick count. Um, my goal, hold on, my goal is 245. So if each car is worth $10, then basically I'm filling up 24.5 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 117. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take three more dollars just to bring it up to an even 120. I hate that the registration is this much, but hey, welcome to California. And I'm not gonna do like a major fill, but um, I said that I had 120, so I'm filling out 10 of the cars for the 100. I'm filling out 12 of the cars. Oh my gosh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So yeah, it'll, it'll be nice to kind of get me up closer to that goal. So basically right here is my stopping point. So I need to fill up to that line. So there we go, car registration is in progress. I am almost halfway there. So that's, that's, really, that's actually really kind of cool. That's a good feeling. Okay, let's go back here. Car gas savings. I decided that I wanted to put $25 in gas. So currently right now, I am working primarily from home. So I go into the office maybe once every other week. Sometimes I go in once a week. Um, I drive a Prius hybrid, so I don't spend a lot on gas, but so I'm, I estimated that I'm going to be putting in $25 for gas each check, which also allows me to basically um, save up extra money. So if I wanted to take a trip, I already have gas money, but I typically get gas once a month, <laughs> which is really nice. Okay. So now we, my food, so a hundred dollars each week for food. So there's 100, three, four, five, here's 200. What I actually like to do for this is I paper clip it. So then that way I know that all I have to do is just grab a little bundle and that's what I'm taking with me to the grocery store. That really helps me also make sure that when I do my grocery list, and when I go grocery shopping, I'm not just buying random crap. I'm actually sticking to my list. Um, and that also kind of helps me stick to buying a lot more healthier foods because I'm not just randomly, oh, this looks good. Let's grab this and let's stick this in the cart. But I can be able to make my list with what I need and stick to it. And it really truly works out better because I don't normally put like cookies and cake on my grocery list. Okay, so allowance savings. So my son also has a GameStop card in there. <laughs> he traded in, oh, um, by the way, so I'm putting in $5 um, 
I'm putting in ten dollars for the allowance so then that way I can actually give him his allowance and five dollars each week for all the chores that he does but yeah so he traded in his PlayStation and he now has some extra money okay I'm gonna move this is my sinking fund but I'm gonna move that to the very end okay so planner savings I do not have anything for planner savings do not have anything specified for yarn savings so these are the two now that I have what I had estimated is that I'm gonna have $50 for miscellaneous so that's just like if I needed to go to Target and pick up something that I wasn't expecting, that's what I'm gonna be using that for. And then I estimated $60 for takeout. So the takeout is gonna go in with my food, but it's not gonna be paper clipped. So that way I know that this is um, food for us to go out to like a restaurant or grab some fast food or whatever. That's gonna go in there. And then I also, designated $30 for cat litter because I'm going to start buying a different kind of cat litter and I'm not buying that through Chewy. So that's going to go in there. And basically everything else is literally going to be for my sinking fund. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150, one, oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So, 134, 144, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this is all going to go in the very last one because this is literally just money that I'm keeping in there and I don't have any sole purpose for it. Maybe I need like a little bit extra for food. I will use it for that. All right, so here is the $50 miscellaneous and then $30 for cat fruit, for cat litter. Actually, I'm going to, I'm gonna actually take some of my paper clips I just have like a whole bunch of little random paper clips in here. I'm actually gonna bundle these up before I put them solely into the envelope. So then that way I know that they are for something else and they're not necessarily for just random or like they're not like part of my sinking fund. All right, so there we go. And actually what I'm gonna do with my sinking fund, since I have a whole bunch of tens in here, I'm gonna take out two tens and I am putting one of them in my East Coast Stadium tour. Whoops. And I'm putting the other one and my Colorado summer trip so that way I'm just kind of getting it a little head start and what I will have to plan on doing is probably starting um, once my car registration is done then I will start um, using some of that to actually put towards those savings but right now car registration is kind of taking priority so there you go I am all set up now for the next two weeks in my in my notebook so let me kind of explain to you about my budget notebook so or actually this is my home franken planner um, so my home franken planner is basically a joined franken planner of meal plans budget and then i have chores and projects in here as well so for my budget um when i when you first open it up I come to my affiliate income page. This is not like YouTube or Instagram, but this is basically um, any type of commissions that I receive from people who use my Archer and Olive link, um, my Amazon links, or my Happy Planner links. I don't get a payout of these every single month, but this way I can be able to track 
what I'm basically making in commission each month and then I'll highlight it if I do get a payout so then that way I know and also if I have to pay taxes on this at the end of the year this is a really good way for me to be able to kind of reconcile everything um, I'm not really using like these for anything in the budget my budget is kind of we're just I'm trying to keep it like really simplified so then that way it doesn't get overwhelming for me um, this page is all of my auto pays um, so then this way I know exactly what day that it's coming out on and how much there's only a couple things that can vary so chewy def just basically depends on what we need um, I typically do chewy for treats and cat food um, smud is my electric and that one varies rent you guys don't want to know my rent it's ridiculous and then I'm gonna be setting myself a goal for January I haven't decided yet what I want it to be but I will figure that out and then we come to the dashboard so in here I can be able to write in my income so my two paydays for work and then um, YouTube if I make anything from YouTube if I make anything from Instagram that'll be nice and then I just basically set up my dashboard for um, like what I'm gonna be like what I'm gonna be paying each month like paying for everything so it's just a good overview then I've got my savings trackers and what I'm gonna be doing with this is I'm gonna be putting at the beginning of each month what I have in my savings so let's go ahead and update that now the only thing that I'm not going to be updating is my bank savings because that's a little bit more private um, and then the debt that I have is my car debt because that's unfortunately I'm paying off my car okay so my one dollar savings has a balance of eight dollars the five dollar savings has a balance of 25 and the $20 has a balance of 20. All right, and then I basically have like my page for the week, like this is each of the weeklies. I'm putting at the bottom what the auto pays are and then I'm using this for any money that I spend separate. December is basically my last month of kind of like my little splurge spending <laughs> starting in January it's going to get serious <laughs> with savings um, and then I use so um, the next one I use this take note what I did is this is going to give me a good overview of the savings that I have in terms of where I start the month and where I end the month and how much that I actually saved that month so let's go ahead and do this as well so my one dollar is eight my five dollar is 25 my twenty dollars is 20 car registration we started the month with 120 because I am actually I should not have done that I should have put what I originally had in there which was 67 all right because this is what these three are kind of like this notebook and then this is what I had before I put in money from this check and then 2023 trip warp 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 we have zero because I will count what is in there now at the end of the month so that's one reason why I need to kind of get this figured out because at the end of the month I will color in the baseballs with how much that I put in there all right now next we come to this page so basically this half sheet is kind of where I figured out like which of my auto pays process and on what day if there was something that I could get rid of I'm getting rid of it same thing with this one I got to cancel that so in that way that's not gonna be I'm not gonna be hit with that auto pay unexpectedly and then these are basically um, annual renewals so then that way I can be able to look ahead and see if I have an annual renewal coming up and then I'm using this right here for what I want what I took out for cash savings and basically each month 
I will kind of determine what I'm going to be doing for that month. So this is not going to change depending on the pay cycle or like my pay date. This is going to be, this is what I'm taking out each pay date for this month. I'll do it again for February and February might look a little bit different, just kind of depending. And that is, oh, and then also I decided to use the currently page for the upcoming month to kind of be able to number one, if I have something coming up, I can be able to just go ahead and put a sticker down and write in what that is. And then if anything comes up that if anything comes up that I might need to pay extra in February, I can be able to write it down. So this is going to be like a work in progress for the whole month. Who there we go. That was a lot of talking and a lot of showing, but I am super excited that I am all set up for the month. I didn't even need this calculator, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope this was kind of like a little motivating to you to maybe start on the same, the same process. Um, if you already do a cash stuffing, cash savings, um, cash spending type of thing, let me know what works for you. This might change up from month to month, depending on, um, you know, kind of how I feel about it. So I'm, like I said, I'm 100% new to budgeting. I'm, well, not 100%. I'm, I'm very new to budgeting, um, like really strict budgeting like this. Really, I haven't done cash savings for more than just a couple months in 2020. So basically this is a work in process work in progress and I will see how it goes so anyways if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell but I will show you um, every month how I'm setting up my cash notebook for that month but I will be doing this again mid-month but I'm just not gonna be recording it so I hope you guys have a good day and bye Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.